Oh, this is Murphy's Law here. Murphy's Law of Passages. Just before you start to about to start a major ocean passage, something unexpected comes up. And uh, the unexpected here is the sink drug. The sink drain clogged. Uh, you can see right in there is a big there's a big plug of crap. Uh, but I gotta drain the water out of the line first. And uh, that, then I can get all the crud out of the out of the hose, and then uh, we should be good to go. But of course, of all the days this had to happen, it had to happen just before I'm about to set off on a thousand mile passage. Mmm, yummy. That's what just came out of the sink drain. I think we're going to toss that overboard. Ahoy everybody! It is Sunday, January 27th, and we are at 19 degrees 37 minutes north and 66 degrees 11 minutes west. We have east to southeast winds, about 20 knots. We got showers and squalls around. Um, so we're on the road again after getting off to a, a somewhat faltering start uh, just before I was about to leave yesterday finishing up the lunch dishes and uh, the galley sink drain clogged and uh, so I ended up having to take the hose off to clear the hose and that's when I discovered that the seacock to the sink drain doesn't close all the way uh, there was still water coming into the boat um, not a lot, but it was a steady, it was a steady stream. And uh, I suspect what's happened is it's, it's a traditional seacock with the, with the tapered plug that goes transverse to the, to the pipe, and then there's a hole board through it. So when you line up the hole with the pipe, the water flows through, and when you turn it 90 degrees, it shuts it off. But I remember the last time I cleaned them, I, I did see some pitting in there, uh, perhaps from electrolysis. And uh, so I have a hunch maybe that's where the water is getting through. Um, so anyway, so that, that's not, I don't particularly like that. But uh, there's nothing I can do about that until the next time I haul the boat out. Uh, so anyway, I got the hose back on, but it was still leaking a little bit, just around uh, where the hose clamped. So, uh, and I discovered that after, after I picked up my anchor and started sailing again. So while I was obsessing with that, I nearly hit a reef on the west side of Calabria. Um, just saw some discoloration in the water and quickly changed course and looked on my chart and saw that there is indeed a reef there. Um, so that, that was, uh, so, uh, so far we got sinking and uh, running aground. Um, and then last night, the, uh, my stern light was blinking on and off got a couple of ships out here. My stern light was blinking on and off, and, uh, but I wiggled the wires by the light, and uh, my guess is that it's, it's, the, it's the butt connectors where the wires go to the wires coming off the light. Probably there's some corrosion in there, because um, the other lights are fine. So I think, I think that's it. So either when I get to Florida or if we get some calm weather, I can fix that. Um, let me see, and then, this is the second time I'm doing this blog entry. Uh, first time I did it, I, I unloaded the uh, video onto my computer and discovered that the SD card in the camera was full, uh, so it didn't re record the blog entry. Um, so, you know, we're, 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 uh, we're, we're fighting it out here. And, um, uh, but uh, we're, we're, we're pushing on. And you know, frankly, on top of that, I didn't really feel, I didn't really feel ready to get back out to sea again. So, uh, so there was uh, there was some lack of uh, lack of motivation coupled with everything else. And um, so, um, 
So what do you do? We're out here now. We're make we're putting the miles down quick, and uh, we keep pushing on. Oh, everybody! It is Monday, January 29th, and we are at 21 degrees 14 minutes north, 67 degrees 44 minutes west. The winds have veered southeasterly. Uh, we got about 15 to 20 knots, uh, so it's gotten a little bit more comfortable. The swell's not quite so bad. And, um, and well, all is well, although uh, I'm a little, uh, my nerves are a little rattled. Uh, I discovered the, um, the, uh, the sort of slow weeping around the through hull where the galley, um, the galley sink drain goes. Uh, this morning was now a steady drip. And so I kind of poked around, and what I discovered was that the elbow coming off the seacock is uh, corroded and has a hole in it. And uh, as I found out earlier, I cannot completely close that seacock off. So uh, when I when I poked the rust off, I got a steady stream coming out of the uh, coming from the uh, elbow. Um, so it was duct tape to the rescue. I wrapped it all in duct tape and I've slowed it back down to kind of a very slow drip, a weeping. So we seem to be okay. Um, however, to ease my mind, uh, earlier today I constructed a, a tapered plug out of one of the old oars for the nutshell. I used the oar around the grip. And uh, so, and this is nice, I think this is cedar, so it's a nice soft fur. Uh, generally you want pine or something soft for a plug. So something you can drive in um, to the through hull. And uh, especially with a, a soft wood like pine is when it gets wet, it'll swell up and it'll make a nice watertight seal. So, you know, when all else fails, and I did have a plug on board, but I think this one might be a little too small. Um, so, uh, and by the way, uh, for ocean cruising, uh, among your spare parts, uh, carry a set of tapered plugs um, because it, it could be your last line of defense if you get into a situation like I'm in right now where uh, one, of the, uh, one of the throughs, the hoses coming off the throughs is, is cracked and you're taking on water and then you discover you can't close the seacock, you can't close the valve off. And so you have no way of stopping water from coming into the boat. Um, and uh, yeah, if, if worse comes to worse, then you, you can just drive a plug into it. And uh, at least you're not going to sink. Um, so other than that, we've got a little less than about 250 miles until we enter the Caicos Passage. Uh, so far, the weather forecast is pretty good. It's pretty benign. Uh, we're supposed to have south, south to southeast winds for the next couple of days, gradually getting lighter. Uh, and then it looks like we should pick up some northeasterlies, uh, which would be quite good if we pick up the northeasterlies in the Caicos Passage, because then we're heading southwest. And, um, and uh, northeasterlies and going east northeast sounds like down south. So if that comes true, that'd be great. That would get us right through the old Bahama Channel. Um, the only thing I'm still on pins and needles about is uh, is what the weather's going to be like when we exit the old Bahama Channel, and of course we got to cross the Gulf Stream. Um, so uh, so let, let's hope it just remains benign weather, and so we can get across the Gulf Stream to Key West. Um, I also did look. There are a couple. There's well, there's two boat yards in and around Key West. Um, so right now it's looking like I am going to have to do a short haul and uh, replace the through and the seacock. Uh, uh, it looks like that's, that's not going to be able to wait until, my, until next summer. Um, so um, other than that, uh, it's pretty nice weather out here and we got decent wind. And the seas are starting to settle some. We've had you know, quite, a, quite an obnoxious swell out here. 
coming from different directions, but it seems to be kind of settling down. Um, so, uh, and the wind's behind us, so that's good. And uh, we're making good time. So, we'll check in with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, uh, everyone.